session, we will be discussing yung budget, ano ang annual budget, ano ang supplemental, realignment and augmentation. We will have a review of the budget process within the barangay. And then you will also understand and know kung ano yung mga budget forms, records, registry, statement of appropriation, obligations, and balances. So by the end of this session, so you are expected to be able to know yung barangay budget, to be able to record and report for yung ating appropriation as required. Okay, so let's start. Review lang po yung sa local government budget process. Hindi ko to part ng uh, original slide pa lang. I-include ko lang. Parang review lang po. So sa barangay, ano ba ang start ng budget process? So we start with yung preparation ng ating annual budget. So who prepares po yung annual budget? Walang gusto? Sino? Si PB. Tama naman, si PB. With the assistance of yung kanyang treasurer. So, palaging silang dalawa. Pero sino ba talaga ako nag-prepare in actual? Si treasurer, masa lang naman niya eh. Yan. So, supervision lang po si Kapitan. Yan. So, pag na-prepare yung ating annual budget, isasubmit nila sa council, sa sangun niyang barangay. Yan. Para i-review ni sangun niyang barangay and ipapas niya into an appropriation ordinance. So kung na-review na ni sangun niyang barangay, saan niya isasubmit? Saan niya sinasubmit pag may appropriation ordinance na? Budget. So submit yan sa City through your through the city budget office. That's it for approval ng SP. Pero ang nag-review kasi dyan, si city budget, ilalecommend niya for approval sa SP. Kaya meron kayong uh, ordinance, approved ordinance ng inyong budget from the sangunyang pangyuso. So pag na-review, okay na siya as Ordinance. So, pwede na tayong gumastos. Yan. Execution. And for every budget, meron pa rin accountability. Kaya required pa rin po tayong gumawa ng mga reports. So, dyan na po papasok yung requirements ng manual on recording and reporting. Okay? Alam na alam ko na yan eh. Review lang po. So what is an annual budget? So yan, under Section 306A of our Local Government Code, RA 7160, annual budget refers to a financial plan embodying the estimates of income and expenditures for one fiscal year. So ano uli yung fiscal year natin? January 1, December 31. So, Yung ating annual budget, may dalawang components palagi, di ba? Meron kayong portion ng... May portion ng estimated income or revenues. And then may portion ng expenditures. Tama? So, yan. So, it takes effect usually at the beginning of the ensuing year. So, nangyayari ba yan? Na pagdating ng January 1, Okay na yung mga budget natin. <laughs> Makahanggang ngayon, may barangay pa na hindi yan ka-approve ang budget. Meron. Meron talaga nangyayari yan. Kaya pag hindi pa-approve ang budget, ang mag-prevail na budget is yung uh, previous budget. So, kung yung 2019 budget hindi pa-approve, usually yung 2018 na pa muna yung ginagamit ng budget. So, hindi kayo pwedeng magbagdag ng mga expenses na wala dun sa 20. Okay? So what is an appropriation? So an appropriation refers to an authorization made by an ordinance. Ano ordinance ulit ito? Approved by the sanggol niyang barangay. Yung ating appropriation ordinance 
na ultimate approval din ng SP. Pero actually, kahit walang approval ng SP, pag hindi lumabas yung approved within 30 days or 60 days, I'm not sure kung ilang days, parang deemed approved yung budget niyo sana. Pero ang nangyayari yata is kailangan may approval sila. Diba? So, unless pinabalik sa inyo for revision or uh, ano yun, pag gusto nila ng mga details, mga yan, hindi po makakonsider hindi magrarun yung 60 days. Okay? So, appropriation. Pwede bang in a year mag-change ang appropriation for the year? Yes. So, how? Paano nagkakaroon ng changes ng appropriation? Tinash ko kanina yung mga ibang pag may supplemental budget. Pag ang others is kung may augmentation, may realignment. So, tingnan natin kung anong sinasabi ng ating local government code on augmentation. So, under section 336, sabi niya dito, the local chief executive or the presiding officer of the Sangunyan may by ordinance be authorized to augment any item in the approved annual budget for their respective offices from savings and other items within the same expense class for their respective appropriations. Anong ibig sabihin ng same expense class? Pwede bang mag-augment from PS to MOOE? So, dapat kung mag-augment PS to PS. So, from pwede yung salaries, kung may savings tayo ng salaries, dun sa other personal benefits. MOOE to MOOE. Pwede yung ganun, PS to PS, na ang kailangan lang ng approval or authorization is yung PB or the sanggunyang barangay. Through an ordinance. Uh, depende sir kung saan yung gagamitin yung savings. As supplemental budget, usually kasi ang savings. So, hindi siya magpo-fall as augmentation. Ang augmentation, kung kunwari may sobra ka doon sa um, try not sa MOOE, yan, hindi mo naman na kailangan, tapos nagkukulang doon sa other expense, so kunwari yung traveling, kulang yung, yung binacheck niyo for training, pwede kayong kumuha doon sa traveling, ilipat niyo doon sa training. Yan. Okay, so yun yung augmentation. Ano ang difference ng augmentation sa realignment? Any idea? The same, the same daw. Parang the same yung concept. Pero ang... Ay, ang, realign, ang augmentation, originally andun sa budget yung expense. Ang realignment, wala siya doon sa original na budget. Ngayon may sobra kang, ex may sobra kang budget doon sa isang expense, kaya hindi mo binachetan yung isang expense, pwede kang mag-refine. Pero kailangan na approval ng city budget, SP through the city budget. Kung hindi mo original na binachet, yun ang realignment. Augmentation, PS to PS, MOE to MOE, pwede sa level ng puno barangay or presiding officer ng sanggunyang barangay through an ordinance. Kaya hindi require pa rin kayo ng accounting na dapat may ordinance sa. Okay, so augmentation yan. It implies the existence in the budget of an item, project activity or purpose with an appropriation which upon implementation or subsequent evaluation of needed resources is determined to be received. So, yun na yun. Dapat existing mo na yung expense, in both expenses, itra-transfer mo lang. Or ililipat mo lang dun sa isa na nagkukulang. Okay? So, kailan nagkakaroon ng supplemental budget? Yan na po yun, sir. Kung meron po tayong savings, isa yun. Kung meron tayong additional collections na hindi, dun, hindi natin sinaman dun sa ating estimated income, Yan. So, kung may other funds na biglang naging available during the year. So, kailangan with the certification daw ng 
city local treasurer. Kaya yung ano niyo ba, yung feelings niyo, may pinipirmahan si Sir Alex? Ginadala niyo nun, di ba? Lalo pag yung year-end niyo. Sir Alex, Sir Tavid, and uh, Ma'am Letty. Yes. So it takes effect upon its approval or on the day fix therein. Kaya nang nagbibigay sila ng cut-off. Kaya pag minsan, dapat ready na kayo para hindi kayo abutin yung cut-off. So yan. So since natakal na natin yung budget, sigurado naman lahat tayo dito nakakita ng itsura ng budget ng barangay. So yan. So paano na natin i-record or i-report yung ating appropriations? So yan. Through yung mga record reports. So yung isang report na kailangan natin i-prepare, ito, yung record of appropriation and obligations. Raw. Yung dati natin na lapas. Raw. Yan. So, meron tayong raw para dun sa regular appropriation. Tapos meron tayong separate raw para dun sa mga non-office accounts natin. Like, yung 10% share for SK, 5% share for the drilling fund, 20% development fund, and continuing appropriation. So, lima pong raw ang i-maintain ni chairman on committee of appropriation. Limang raw. Okay? <laughs> Dati namang yata ang requirement under dun sa own. Hindi lang po natin nagagawa. Or nagagawa natin pero at year end. Kasi dun lang nilisipore niya ako. So yan. So punta po kayo dun sa annex 6 of your manual para makita niyo ng gusto ang itsula ng raw. So, yung record of appropriation and obligation, so then ito ba may chula? So, we have here the name of the barangay, name po ni CCA, and yung fund source. Dun sa fund source, whether regular appropriation, yung 10% na SK, yung 5% dream, 20% uh, LTF, and continuing appropriation. Yung portion ko dito, ilalagay nyo kung regular appropriation, 10% na SK, dream fund, uh, continuing appropriation, and 20% development fund. And then here, the name of the city or municipality, province, and then page number. Okay, so dito na tayo sa taas. Yung reference, ang ilalagay ko natin dito, on, dito sa upper portion, letter E on appropriation, yung references po natin dyan is yung ating annual budget, or supplemental budget, or yung mga other ordinances, for augmentation and realignment. So, yan ang reference natin dito. So, makikita nyo dito may portion on personal services, MOOE, financial expenses, and capital outlay. Tapos, under it, may mga blanco. So, kayo po ang mag-provide niyan. Kasi, manggagaling po yan kung ano po yung nakatagay sa inyong budget. So, for example, dito sa personal services, yung honorarium ng balangay, salaries and wages, kayo pong maglalagay dyan. Kung may mga year-end benefits, year-end bonus, cash gift, and other personal benefits. So, pagdating sa maintenance and other operating expenses, isa-isahin niyo po ang isusulat dito. Per, co per column po, ang isang expense. So, dyan, traveling, training, office expenses, and so on. Pag financial expenses naman, dyan papasok yung bank charges, interest expense, capital outlay, yung capital outlay under the regular fund. Kasi iba yung ilalagay mo, ibang paglalagyan mo yung capital outlay under the ring fund and under SK and the regular fund. Okay? So dito sa obligations, Ang pinaka 
reference dyan is yung disbursement voucher. Ang i-discuss ko this afternoon is yung portion ng letter A, yung appropriations. Kasi ano pa lang tayo sa appropriations. Ibang session po yung obligations na portion. Pero yun ang pinaka-reference niya. Disbursement voucher. Okay, so next. Isang i-prepare din ni CCA is yung statement of appropriation, obligations, and balances. Sa Ay, balik tayo dun, sa law. How often na i-prepare ito? Yung dapat regular na na-update siya monthly. Pero in actual, yearly. So, ugalihin na natin ngayon, starting ngayon, after this seminar, pag nag-prepare na tayo ng mga bagong forms, regular natin i-update. Para, yan din naman ang basis natin pag nakita natin nag -exit, kung nag-exit na tayo, kung wala na pala siyang budget, dyan mo rin makikita yung mga balances. Yan. Yung statement of appropriations, obligations, and balances sa o, ganun din. Monthly na i-prepare yung DCCA. Pero hindi niya kailangan bigyan ng copy si accounting ng monthly. Bibigyan niyo lang po ang accounting ng, ng SAO at the end of the year. Kasi kailangan po ni accounting ito para din sa pag-prepare ng isang financial statement. Kaya nangyipar sa inyo ito. So, yan ang SAO. So, punta kayo sa next seven. Para makita niyo yung sample ng SAO. Round. Yung round, are record, record and operation and obligation round. Ito, sao, dating sakbi. So here we have here the name of the barangay, the name of the city, the name of the report, as of month end. January, February, until December. So yan. Yung if you fill up natin na columns, these are your functions. You have your PS, MOOE, financial expenses, and capital outlay. Yan yung nang nakalagay sa raw. Tapos for regular appropriations. Meron din tayong raw for development fund, SK fund, and the 5%. So meron din portions dyan on. Ito. And then you have your portion ng continuing appropriations since kailangan may raw ka rin dyan. So... Sa column ng original, ang ilalagay po natin dyan is yung total kung under PS ng PS na nandun sa annual budget. So ang reference natin yung sa original na column is yung annual budget. Kung within the year nagkaroon kayo ng supplemental budget, dito nyo po ilalagay kung magkano ang supplemental budget para dun sa particular expense or fund source. Okay? So, yung final na column, yan po yung total ng original at saka ng supplemental. Para makuha nyo yung total appropriation for the month until dun sa year end. Okay? Yung column ng obligation, yan, kukunin nyo din yan sa raw. So, yung total monthly doon sa raw, yan yung ilagay nyo dyan under PS para makuha nyo yung balance ng appropriation. So, yung final minus yung total obligation, yun po yung ilagay doon sa column ng balances. Okay po ba? So, the SAO should be certified by the CCA and noted by the Punong Barangay. So, dito po, monthly i-prepare, pero yearly isasubmit sa account. Para kung hindi ni Punong Barangay or CIMG, kung nag-deliver ng status of funds ninyo, meron na kayo kaagad na basis. Okay, next. Meron tayong special trust funds. Ito yung diniscuss ko kanina. We have here the funds received from other levels of government and donors for specific purpose. 
Ang sample dyan is financial assistance from Dole, DLL, nagbibigay pa si DLG. DCSO <laughs> and other government entities, pwede din from the private. And we have under special trust fund yung unspent budgetary items of the 5% local disaster risk reduction and management fund. So yan, paano ang reporting ng special trust fund? So, si Lulia mag-prepare niya, si CCA Lulia. So yan, maraming gagawin yung report si CCA, no? So, mag-prepare si CCA ng registry for special trust fund para po doon sa ating uh, financial grants received from other government offices or donors and yung uh, unspent portion ng ating green fund. And so, annex 33 po ng inyong manual, makikita niyo doon yung sample ng registry of special trust fund. So we have again the name of the barangay, the name of the chairman on committee on appropriation, purpose. So kailangan nilagay natin yung purpose. Kasi for every uh, financial grant or donor, ibang RSPF po ang MMT. Tapos name of the city, province, and the page number. So dito yung ilalagay nyo lang dyan is yung kung magkano yung amount na binigay or magkano ang amount ng unspent dream fund. So makukuha nyo yung unspent, yung amount na unspent kay accounting kasi nag-maintain siya ng measures nyo. Kung hindi kayo sigurado dun sa balance ng dream fund, yun yung nire-record ni accounting as trust liability. So, yung mga CCA, yun po, makikoordinate kayo with the accounting para malaman niyo yung balance ng unspent dream fund. So, dito sa reference, kung yung, uh, example, yung dole, nagkipag ano sa inyo ng MOA, yun yung ilalagay mo reference. And then the amount of grant na binigay or yung amount ng unspent portion ng green fund yung range. And the year, year na granted or year nung green fund na hindi nalang. Kasi pwede yung green fund nyo is uh, for a period of five years kasi yung life niya, di ba? So pwede yung various years yung unspent portion. So si accounting meron na rin niya nandun sa kanyang notes to financial statements. Tingnan niyo dun sa inyong bar or ARB. Andun yung balance ng green fund. Okay, so kung meron expenses from yung uh, fund na yun or financial grant, dito po natin ilalagay dun sa details of charges. Tayo po ang mag-fill up kung anong nature po ng expense. Ilalagay po natin doon sa blankong rows under yung details of charges. So, yan po ang RSTF. Okay. Medyo maraming forms. Another form? Ito, bago. Record of estimated and actual income. REI. Okay, so REI Ito yung estimated na ang actual income during the year and it is prepared by the Padangay Treasurer. Si BT ang mag-prepare niyan and sinasubmit yan. Ang preparation na din ni BT is monthly. Uh, Pine-prepare, ina-update yan monthly pero sinasubmit sa accounting at year end only. Kasi basis ko ni accounting yung WAI para doon sa preparation niya ng statement of comparison of budget and actual amounts. The same po doon sa SAO. 
kailangan niya counting yung sao at saka itong riyay para ma-prepare po itong statement of comparison ng budget and ng balance. So, kailangan magawa niya yan para ibigay sa inyo ang beginning balance for your budget preparation. Okay? So, punta tayo sa Annex 41 para dun sa itsura ng riyay. So, ganyan po, ang itsura ng riyay. So, again, have here the name of the barangay. This time, si Barangay Treasurer, yung nakalagay dyan. Name of the city, province, and page number. So, the same with Sadao, may two portions rin ang riyay. Meron ditong income estimates at saka actual collections. Doon sa Sadao, ano yun, expenses na yun. Dito sa riyay, yung collections. Okay, so we have here the portion ng income estimates. Saan natin po po ninyo lalagay dyan? Any idea? Estimates. Huh? <laughs> Saan ba ang budget, diba? Kasi meron na kayo portion doon ng estimated revenues or income. So from their annual budget, supplemental budget, or mga ordinances for your organization realignment, yun po yung reference nyo dyan. So, doon magagaling yung ilalagay po natin dyan. So, yung income accounts, under doon yung income accounts, may blank, blank rows ali dyan. So, kayo pong maglalagay kung ano yung nature no ini-expect nyo na makolect within the year. So, kung clearances, dyan. Ay, number one, ira. So, yan. Share from Internal revenue collections, certificate and clearances, may interest income, ano pa ba yung mga sources niya? Subsidy ni city, and etc. So ano pa yung mga expected na makolect nyo within the year. So under actual collections, ang pinaka-reference po natin dyan is yung report of collections and deposits. Pero hindi po ako mag-discuss dyan. So, doon sa ating workshop mamaya, yung portion na po ng income estimates ang gagawin natin. Hindi muna natin gagawin yung portion ng actual collections. Ganun din po sa workshop sa raw. Yung portion lang ng appropriation. Okay. So, sabi dito, expenditures or obligations shall in no case exceed available appropriations. Alam natin, dapat yan ha? Anong mga mangyayari kung nag-exceed? <laughs> Aong talaga ah. Oo, pwede. Kung mabait ng auditor nyo, aaw muna. Pero kung ayaw na niyang mag-English, kasi mas madaling gumawa ng office of disallowance, outright disallowance yan. Kasi pag nag-exceed kayo, ibig sabihin walang basis, irregular yung disbursement. So, kaya dapat na, na mamonitor po natin yung ating expenditure as against doon sa appropriation. Dapat hindi po tayo nag-exceed. Kaya alam siguro ng mga barangays na may mga excess, may disallowance sila. Yes, ma'am? Ma'am, meron pong binibigay ang city treasurers mga estimates. Na? May estimated uh, RTP po kami na collection. So, kasama po doon sa Doon sa estimated revenues. Oo. Yung share from RPT, no? At saka yung bibigay ng budget office na hirap na rin. Oo, yun yung mga estimates nyo. Andun kasi yan sa inyong preparation ng annual budget, di ba? Nakalagay doon yung share from RPT, yung collections nyo from clearances, Yung share from garbage kasi is nakatras liability. So, hindi nyo siya pwede ng gabitin for regular expenses. At saka yung subsidy po from the government na 30,000. Oo. Oh, yun usually yung mga nakikita namin. So, yun yung iba yata may mga rent income. Parking fees. Yan. Pwede rin yun. Okay. So, let's have a... Uh, Glance kung ano yung appropriation, workflow ng appropriation. 
So dito, ito yung mga references. We have here your annual budget, supplemental budget, augmentation, and realignment. So under dito sa ating mga budget, may portion on the income and appropriation, at yung mga expenditures. So yung portion ng income, i-report natin doon sa record on estimated and actual income. And who prepares this again? I only... Why? We have passed the ICCA. Treasurer. Ayaw na ni Treasurer gumawa. Si Treasurer ang gagawa niyan. Yung Ray ay. Si Treasurer yan ha. So pagdating sa expenditure portion ng ating budget, i-record ni Treasurer. Ire-record ni Treasurer or sino? Si CCA. Ire-record niya doon sa ating raw, yung record on appropriation and obligation. And isa-summarize niya doon sa SAO, then submits it to the accounting para doon sa preparation ng test. Yearly ang submission, nandito po, yung RAYI at saka SAO, yearly na sinasa at the end of the year, na isa-submit yan sa accounting. Pero monthly po ang pag-maintain and pag-update. Okay? Kasi yung saog, monthly ang preparation. So exercise tayo para uh, ano na, actual na tayo para pagdating nyo sa barangay, hindi mo yun na kayo mag-convert. So, this, may bibigay sa inyong Sample na appropriation ordinance, pero yun po kasi is prepare ng at aming central office. So ang setup po niya is medyo setup ng mga mayayamang barangay. Pero sample lang yun. So bibigyan kayo ng copy ng appropriation ordinance. Paki-comment po kasi may mga maling amounts, maling competition, or maling basis. Pakitingnan kung ano yung mga defects ng uh, appropriation ordinance na ibibigay sa inyo. Pakisulat sa paper per table and then mamaya may isang group na mag-represent. Ay yung last group. Sabi <laughs>